This is the E1 Pro from Reolink. It's a four megapixel, super high definition pan and tilt camera. Let's open the box and take a look inside. So guys, we have reviewed Reolink cameras before. Our first review was a dome camera and a two terabyte MVR storage. And here's the link to that video. So what you get with this E1 Pro is you get a sticker and a user guide. You have a small box here. Let's go ahead and dig further. And this is the camera. Feels pretty good. It's not too heavy. Let's go ahead and open this box. Looks like a mounting bracket, screws and anchors, and the power cord for the camera. Let's see how long that power cord is. And it's pretty long. And remember, hit subscribe. It's really important to keep this channel alive. Let's go ahead and take a look at the features of the camera. Like I said before, it feels pretty lightweight. I like the logo in the front. It looks nice. So what are the camera features? This is your daylight sensor. You can't see these, but these are the eight LEDs for night vision. This is the lens, a status LED. There's also a built-in mic. And at the bottom, there's a reset button and a micro SD card slot. And on the back of the camera, we have a speaker and the power connection. And on the bottom of the camera, this is the connection for the mounting bracket if you're going to mount to the wall. The total height of this camera is 107 millimeters and the width is 76 millimeters. So this is everything that's included with your E1 Pro. Okay, let's go ahead and replace our Nest camera and we'll plug in the E1 Pro here. First, unplug the Nest camera and remove it. Now just plug in the power to the back of the camera and the power into the wall. Now we already have the Reolink app installed on our phone since our last Reolink review. So all we have to do is go to add device within the Reolink app. Virtually every Reolink camera I've ever used has been easy to set up. And the E1 Pro continues that tradition. Thanks to a voice prompt that guides you through every step of the process. Once you scan the camera's QR code with the Reolink app, it's just a few simple steps to connect to your Wi-Fi network. The QR code is located at the bottom of your camera. Simply scan the QR code. Allow the app to access your device location. Next, select your Wi-Fi network and put in your password. Next, your app will generate a QR code and scan that code into the camera. Listen for the voice prompt to tell you to successful. Please wait. Now the camera will connect to your router. Done. What I like about the E1 Pro is that it operates on the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz band for the Wi-Fi router. So that's pretty nice. Okay, next you want to create a password. Okay, everything's done. And now you should be able to see your camera on your app. Let's check it out. And there I am. It's great. I like the picture quality. It looks pretty good. Now compared to the Nest camera, you're not going to get that zoom feature that Nest has. But what you're going to get here is the pan and tilt. This is a great feature. So let's start with left to right and then we'll do up and down. So as I use the pan and tilt on my app, I do notice a slight lag, maybe one or two seconds. It's not a big deal, and after a few minutes of using this app, it's actually not noticeable at all. The Reolink app has many features. My favorite feature is the real-time alerts. So when the camera detects motion, it will send you an alert. This is very important when you're on vacation or at work. And this camera does work with Google Assistant. So let's go ahead and get to the review. The Reolink E1 Pro is an impressive camera and it has great picture quality. It's very easy to set up. 
Matter of fact, it took less than 5 minutes from start to finish. If your main concern is picture quality and price, then the E1 Pro is for you. While the Nest camera has better zoom abilities, the E1 Pro has a micro SD card to store pictures and video. The Nest camera does not. Reallink also offers a free plan with purchase that saves up to 1GB of clips for 7 days. With the Nest camera, you'll have to purchase cloud storage. So comparing the E1 Pro and the Nest camera, my pick is the E1 Pro. With great picture quality, pan and tilt, and the ability to store video clips and pictures on a micro SD card and free cloud storage, it's simply the better choice. Well guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. It's free.